Hello and welcome to 365 Days of Excelling with Clive. This is day 67, and today we are looking at conditional formatting, top or bottom X items. So we are looking at how we can identify and format items based on their value. So for example, to format top 10 items so that we can easily identify them, or bottom five items. So what we're going to do is we're going to do to go to conditional format, and say top or bottom rules. So we are going to pick up top 10 items, but we want only top five. Then we say top five items. Then we choose the color we want for the top. So usually if, it, if top is a good result, then I would choose the color green. Then I say top five, then okay. So if I change, for example, to say this one, I change it to 99, it becomes part of top items, you can see that it automatically gets highlighted. And at each every time we have top five items highlighted. Also important to note that if you have uh, ties here in the top five, you end up having six items because this is identified as top one, and then 90 is the second, eight and the third, and so on and so on. With the same also rule, you can actually also I like top or bottom, then you choose bottom, then you say five items, for instance. Then you can highlight your bottom five items. If, for example, this one 50 changes to five, it becomes part of the bottom numbers. You see it will be dynamically highlighted as well. And the one which was coming as number five gets unhighlighted. So this is how you can dynamically highlight your top and your bottom number. And this makes it very easy to be able to identify which are the top items and which are the low items as compared to if you just do a sort or a filter because you have to do it manually. It can be done dynamically. If you want to watch more conditional formatting rules, you can visit day 65 and day 66 where we covered the top 10% and bottom 10% rules. Thank you. Bye-bye.